Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. The hole in the ozone layer over Antarctica is shrinking. The ozone hole was one of the signature issues of the environmental movement in the 80s and 90s. You don't hear as much about it since the conversation shifted to focus on climate change, but it's still there. It hasn't gone anywhere, but it has gotten smaller, which we know thanks to studies like the one just published by an international team of climate scientists. The team studied the size of the ozone hole using data recorded in September of every year from 2000 through last year and found that the hole has shrunk by over 4 million square miles, which is larger than the land area of the United States. It's been almost 30 years since the United Nations ratified the Montreal Protocol and countries around the world began phasing out the use of ozone depleting substances. Now we are seeing the results of that action. Much of the damage humans are causing to the environment can be stopped and repaired if only our governments have the will to act. The study on the shrinking ozone hole is published in the journal Science. Next up, scientists have found a way to use bacteria to generate power using tiny little wind farms. A team of scientists at Oxford University immersed a lattice of micro rotors into a dense bacterial suspension and found that the swarming motions of the bacteria were able to turn the rotors. The team created a computer model demonstrating that the flow created by the movements of the bacteria against the rotors is sufficient to generate small amounts of energy. What could such small amounts of energy be used for, you may be asking? Why, powering micro-machines, of course. By which I mean tiny machines, nanotechnology, not those little cars Motor Mouth Machida used to do commercials for. Power plants driven by bacterial motion could be incredibly efficient since they would require no input energy to operate. This study is published in the journal Science Advances. And finally, physicists have confirmed the existence of a rare exotic particle, the tetraquark. Tetraquarks are particles composed of four quarks. This is very unusual as most particles are made up of two or three quarks. The existence of the particle was confirmed by data from the Large Hadron Collider. Three other exotic particles, all larger than the tetraquark, were also detected, though they have not yet been confirmed. If the other three are confirmed, they could represent a whole new class of particles. It was a team from Syracuse University that confirmed the tetraquark. The particle their work has confirmed, designated X4140, is so rare that it's only been detected 20 times in the billions of experiments conducted with particle colliders like the Large Hadron Collider. The Syracuse team is continuing to study the data, using it to develop new theories that could change the way we think about the universe at the smallest scales. The paper is published in the journal Physical Review Letters. The hole in the ozone layer is getting smaller, the motions of bacteria could be used to power tiny machines, and physicists have found a new group of exotic particles. That's the good news. Hey everybody, we hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe, and please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time, won't we, Adi Kings? Well, she's busy washing her hands, but we'll see you next time.